Algeria may not be at the top of well-known countries. Though all the hurdles it faces it is a very inspiring secret, Algeria is so rich historically and full of conflict, the country has been ruled by Romans, Germanic tribes, Byzantines, the Spanish, Turks and the French. Each nation left its own touch. Interestingly, diversity is one of Algeria's strong keys, from the east to the west and from the northern part to the southern part of the country. There are huge distinctions from the traditions to the costumes to the food to the accent actually not only the accent but the language. About 99% of Algerians are Muslims but the Muslim Algeria is home to some beautiful basilicas, Our Lady of Africa, Sacred Heart Cathedral of Algiers and Basilique Santa Cruz in Oran. All these basilicas represent a great symbol for religious tolerance. On the other hand there are some beautiful mosques naming Jema al Jadid or the New Mosque, Kechewa Mosque, and the Great Mosque of Algiers which is the oldest in the capital and one of the world's few remaining examples of Almoravid architecture. There are many French colonial landmarks, the huge post office in Algiers is quite a wonder looking more like a palace and is a fine example of the French Moorish colonial architecture. Algeria has many fascinating archaeological sites. One of them is Kasbah of Algiers, or the fortress, an example of Islamic architecture and urbanism of the Arab Berber Medinas. Actually it is such a remarkable symbol of Algerian culture. Tipaza for example has Algeria's most famous ruins, a combination of Phoenician, Roman, and Byzantine civilizations. Or Gimila, in English the beautiful one. It is a small mountain village, where some of the best preserved Berbero-Roman ruins in North Africa are found. It became a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its unique adaptation of Roman architecture to a mountain environment. I should talk also about the amazing traditional Kabyle architecture, usually placed on a ridge or high plateau characterized by its stone construction and its red brick roofs with two slopes covered with tiles. And I don't want to forget the Mzayab Valley situated in the Sahara Desert, a combination of the functional purism of the locals' faith with the Oasian way of life has led to a strict organization of land and space which is designed for egalitarian communal living, with respect for family privacy. It is great example of the Algerian desert architecture. Probably when you think about big countries in Africa, Algeria is not the first to come to your mind. However it is the biggest, and the tenth largest country in the world, with a beautiful setting on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. So if you want to escape from the heat and getting out of the vibrant city, there are about 1,200 kilometers of shimmering coastline, a dramatic shores where rocks, mountains, and sand meet the water. In the south there are the expansive desert landscapes, Algeria's Tassili National Park is a large open-air museum where there are many prehistoric rock art drawings and other archaeological sites from the Neolithic era. It features over 300 rock arches and it is probably one of the main tourist attractions in the country. Needless to say that the Algerian dates are known to be some of the best on earth. The Tel Atlas mountain range makes its way through Morocco, across Algeria, and into Tunisia, extends 2,400 kilometers. Algeria has most of it about 1,500 kilometers. Many of Algeria's important cities are located along the Tel Atlas. This includes the capital of Algiers, Oran, and Constantine. It is an agricultural treasure for the nation. The eastern part of the mountain has a great history and tradition in the cultivation of olive trees with over 4,500 square kilometers of trees for the production of olive oil which is about two times the size of Luxembourg. It is the fourth producer and the third largest consumer of table olives in the world. Greetings.